Howdy folks, this is Igor Brandeo and I just got this brand new Yamaha MT-09 SP and this will be my first impressions riding so I'll be sharing them with you through this YouTube video now you may ask well you have mirrors you have a cell phone mount how can this be your first impressions yeah yeah I've ridden it a few times and if you go on my channel you'll notice that most of my videos are in Brazilian Portuguese but I figured I'd make a, a video on English just so it can be a reference for American and all English speaking folk as well so it's been a little over a week a week and one day that I have this bike for and of course I'm still getting used to it it's still on break-in period so I'm not going over a certain amount of RPMs but all things considered I have a good pretty good lay of the land on what I like and what I don't like on this bike because yes it's a very nice bike it's a sick bike I don't regret getting it one bit but still isn't perfect and could improve in some points at least in my opinion and so starting on what I dislike on this bike I think that the dash could be a little bit bigger for my opinion you can see the information just fine but I wish it would it was just an inch inch and a half or even two inches bigger that would have been a lot lot better so that's my first criticism my second criticism is also related to the dash and apparently you have only two spots to configure the information you want to show and you have to cycle between uh, things that I, I find very important so for example dash information that you have to choose from you have your fuel meter you have your trip meters trip one trip two you have your total odometer you have air temperature uh, you have engine temperature and you also have fuel related statistics like instantaneous use of fuel average use of fuel all that kind of stuff so basically you have like eight things to choose from and only two spots so for me personally I like to see obviously the fuel gauge to see how long can I drive for without refueling the engine temperature so I know when the engine is in optimal speed so I can accelerate it normally and last but not least the odometer to keep keep an eye on the miles for each maintenance period right so since I would like to see all those three informations at the same time I can't do that with this bike I have to pick two from two of them so if I'm seeing the fuel or engine temperature I can't see the odometer yeah and that's how it goes so that's the second criticism and the third criticism I have is regarding the selection button it's a little bit wonky it's not precise on its selections because basically everything is controlled by this wheel right here so whenever you're scrolling through items you obviously roll it up and down but when you want to select you have to press on it this may get better with time but I don't know but right now as it stands 
whenever you want to select something and you have to press it down you sometimes scroll on accident before you press and then you end up selecting what you didn't want so that's a bit annoying as well so that's my third criticism the the button that scrolls and selects options on the on the dashboard and so far these are the only things that I dislike about this bike but on the upside I have things that I instantly love for instance the cruise control which I'll demonstrate in a second so I've activated it as you probably can see on the dash right there so let's say I want to cruise at 75 miles an hour so let me stabilize at 75 and then press set and there you go just like that you're cruising and this is absolutely amazing because now when I get a free lane like this I can get to talk to you people using both hands and not only that that turns the video a little bit more dynamic but also I can get a good nice rest from the throttle motion so yeah this is an absolute win for this motorcycle cruise control kills it so good the second thing the second thing I like about this bike is how the paintwork and the finish the details are awesome I mean this is in no way an European bike level of detail like Triumph or BMW or, or Ducati but still the inside tube of the front forks are painted in a very beautiful and brilliant black color the swing arm is just a gorgeous silver color every single nook and cranny is either painted metallic or gloss black and that amazes me I totally hate the stainless steel raw color right so yeah that's the second upside I absolutely love the fit and finishing colors on this bike the third aspect I like is obviously the engine now they've changed it a little bit from the old FZ09 platform FZ09 MT09 bumping the CCs a little bit but it's not only mechanical changes they've actually changed the electronics as well so that it's a lot more configurable and they've also added this IMU which stands for inertial measurement unit something like that something along those lines and what that does is it feels the angle or inclination or lean angle of the bike so it can better manage TCS systems wheelie really control systems and also ABS which is amazing so with this you have so many options on configuring the riding modes on this bike like four engine power modes for the most docile to the most extreme and responsive you have different levels of ABS different levels of TCS traction control and different levels of wheelie control so it is amazing on that sense and oh it also has an up down quick shift which you can individually configure if you want only up only down or entirely off or obviously both so yeah electronic wise this bike is absolutely amazing the fourth aspect I like on this bike is its suspension setup so currently it's OEM from factory I haven't changed compression and rebound setup at all but even though it feels like a triumph I say triumph because triumph skill on this handling discipline they are simply amazing bikes to ride they they lean when you want to they change directions very easily and they feel very light on your hand and I had one myself 
I had the Strit Triple 765 for a year and a half. So I know well how Triumphs handle and those Twisty and tight roads. And this thing feels just the same even without changing anything on it. So props to Yamaha for finally killing the chassis and suspension setup on this one. They absolutely killed it, nailed it. This thing reads your mind when you try to corner. You think, and it does. It's instant and natural, absolutely amazing. And last but not least, it's the comfort. So whenever I'm doing like highway cruises like this, you obviously want it to be as comfortable as possible. I don't mind the wind blast because I've been doing naked all my life so I'm not bothered by that but the seat is comfortable you sit upright enough space for the legs well that if you're within the 5'7 to 5'10 height range I'm 5'7 by the way so not super tall but I feel very comfortable on this bike not cramped at all but I think for people that are a little bit taller than 5'10 they would struggle a little bit with that the seat is also very very plush it keeps you nice and tight during a spirited ride but also is snug and doesn't hurt your butt for long rides so this is it guys those were my first impressions on what I like and dislike about the Yamaha MT-09 SP 2021 version. I will be doing more English content on it on the future. So if you like this quick and small review format, please drop a like and also subscribe, turn on notifications and hopefully YouTube will let you know whenever I drop new content on this bad boy right here so that's it folks just arrived into my destination I try to find a nice parking spot and I think it's gonna be that one in the back and this one right here And this is it thanks for hanging around till the end i really appreciate that and see you next time